Do you need to buy yourself the official Oculus Link cable or can you just get away with a cheap £20 one from Amazon? We're going to be comparing these two cables in terms of performance and build quality to find out what would be the best cable for you. Here is the cable at Amazon we're going to be comparing the official Oculus Link cable with. A link to this is down below if you'd like to purchase it for yourself. Now the first and most important part is, do the cables work? And I can say both the official Oculus cable and the cheap cable we've got from Amazon both do work correctly. They both work fine straight out of the box except for one issue. With both of the cables I've been having issues with the microphone. However I have found a workaround for this as you can see in the video link above. So if you're using one of the official Oculus cables and you cannot get your microphone to work on your PC check that out and that should fix that issue for you. Apart from that, both of the cables worked perfectly fine for me. Now, there are two main differences between the cables I have picked here. The official Oculus cable is five meters long, whereas the one I am comparing it to is only three meters long. I found I I'm playing in a tiny little room, so the three meters is perfectly fine for me. And that is the absolute minimum I would recommend for a VR cable. However, if you do need more, you can pick up ones that are longer on Amazon as well, but I figured that one was nice and cheap and is as long as I want. It's big enough for my little room. One difference that could come into play later on is the Amazon cable is USB 3.1 while the official Oculus Link cable is using USB 3.2. Now both of these seem to be maxed out at 5 gigabits per second, however USB 3.2 should in theory in the future be faster than 3.1. Whether we can see a difference between these two speeds while actually playing is yet to be seen. So let's do a little speed comparison in the actual test in the Oculus software and see how they compare. Now on the left here we have the speed test for the cheap Amazon cable and on the right we have the speed test for the official Oculus Link cable. As you can see the two of these come out at exactly the same speed. So the difference between USB 3.1 and 3.2 is not much at all clearly in this scenario seen as they can both have a top speed of 5 gigabits per second. I have tested these on various days and I got between 2.5 and 2.8 uh, gigabits per second. Whenever I tested, the two cables did have exactly the same speed, so in terms of performance that way, they are identical. There's no difference whatsoever for that price point. So, first couple of tests went well. Both cables worked perfectly fine. Both cables have the exact same speed, so what's the test now? Let's actually test in the games and test the latency. For these comparisons, I have played on Half-Life Alex, Phasmophobia, Pavlov, and for the main test, Beat Saber. Now, I already owned Beat Saber for my Valve Index, so there was no point in me buying it on the Quest again. And uh, you know, if you've got any latency on that, then you're just going to fail. So I figured that was one of the top games that I was going to be using for my testing and the latency. Now, for the comparisons I'm doing today, it's a good point to know what PC I'm running this on. We have got a 2060 Super graphics card, an i7 processor and 32 gigabytes of RAM specs on the screen just now. So you know what the ballpark we're working with here. It's a good mid-range computer, so it should work VR perfectly well. It works with Valve Index, fine and dandy, so it should work a quest too. Now, my graphics card does have a USB-C port, so I am using it directly into that port. If your PC does not have a USB-C port, you can get a USB-C to USB-A converter, so that you can put it into one of the USB 3 slots in your computer. Now, that is very important. It needs to be a USB 3 slot. You're not going to have a good time if you do it in USB 2. It has to be USB 3. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left we have the cheap £20 cable and on the right we have the official Oculus Link cable. As you can probably see from the video, it might be a bit hard to tell because you're not playing the game. There was no difference whatsoever. They were both silky smooth. The notes missed were all just me being bad at the game and nothing to do with the latency whatsoever. The latency was perfect on both of the cables. I did not have any drops when I was playing a game like this. Now this here is the cheap Amazon cable, as you can see it has got the right angle to go into the USB slot, no problem at all. It comes with a little bit of tape here to wrap around your cable and it can loop through the little bit at the back here so it goes down your back rather than in your shoulder. As you can see that is nice, neat, as good as you're going to get a nice little cable for a wireless headset. And now here we have the official Oculus cable plugged into the headset. 
can see we've got the right angled USB cable and again we have got a little bit of velcro here to attach it to the strap and it is going round. It's thicker than the other cable but not much difference between the two I think when they're all plugged in. Now let's look at these cables a little bit up close and personal. Here we have the official oculus cable. You've got the little right hand angle. The bit that goes into your computer is not right hand angled, it is just straight into the USB. Here is the cheaper cable, as you can see that is a right hand angle and it has that for both um, going into the Quest and into your computer. Two side by side. Comparing the two side by side, the official oculus cable is a little bit thicker than the other cable but not by much at all. You can feel the thickness rather than seeing it to be honest with you. And obviously the official oculus cable has a nicer bit of velcro. But you're not buying a cable for a bit of velcro. Now when you're looking for a cable that is not the official cable, the things you're wanting to look out for are if you can find a fiber optic cable that would be ideal. You want at least a minimum of USB 3, but I would recommend a minimum of 3.1. If you can find 3.2, that would be great, but minimum 3.1, that will generally treat you well. And a minimum of three meters long, you can go for five meters, but three meters is the absolute minimum. And that's only if you've got a small room. If you're planning on running about wild, get a bit longer than three, but three is fine. I measured in here. It takes me right to the wall. So we're having some good times with a three meter cable. Also check out the top speed it can do. If it can do five gigabits per second or 10 gigabits per second, that is what you want. You don't want one that's capped at two or three gigabits per second. That could cause you some issues down the line. Make sure it's at least five, seeing as the official cable supports five gigabits per second. As you can see on the official Facebook website as well that they do say third party cables do work. They recommend the Anchor cable personally. They have done some testing with this. However, I wouldn't personally recommend that cable from searching about for some reviews online. It's quite heavy compared to the other cables that you can get and you don't want something weighing you down. You're used to playing the Quest wirelessly. That's the thing that you got the headset for probably compared to the other headsets. It's cheap wireless. When you got a cable at first it does feel a little bit heavier unless you get it set up in the right place. So you want to get one as lightweight as possible. One thing that people recommend the official cable over other cables for is the weight. They say the cable is lightweight but actually I found my cable from Amazon is thinner and lighter. It could be thinner because the build quality isn't quite as good. It was under £20. What can you expect really? But the lightweight works. It is not a heavy chunky cable that is going to get in your way when you're flailing about your room playing in VR. One other reason you might want the official cable is if Facebook decide in a few years time they're not going to support third party cables but wait until that happens. Hopefully it doesn't happen seeing as they themselves have said that they do support third party cables so you should be fine with that and the fact that it's USB 3.2 but if you had a hunt about and especially in a year or two's time you'll be able to pick up a USB 3.2 cable no bother pretty dirt cheap. Now the next point should you use a cable or should you try and do the quest wirelessly? Now that is a whole different kettle of fish. If you're a computer novice I would say don't do it wirelessly, definitely get the cable, but if you know what you're doing, you already have your Quest side loaded, virtual desktop and doing it wireless could be something to look into depending on the speeds of your router and your wireless network. I've tried it myself and the latency is not as good as using the cable directly. I did have some drops, therefore I wouldn't recommend it at the moment, but I'm going to do some more testing on that and hopefully do a video on that in the future, see if I can get it nice and working and recommend it to you. And there you go, that is the comparison between the two cables. I guess my conclusion is, no, you don't need the official £89 Oculus Link cable, you can get a cheapy one. Some on Amazon may be hit or miss, be careful with what you're buying, you can check out the reviews and make sure it does work on a quest before making that purchase, and if it goes wrong you can always return it. Honestly, the only reason to get the official cable is to have a slightly better build quality. Okay, so probably a good bit better build quality. It has nicer velcro I guess for the attachment but apart from that £70 extra is not worth the build quality. I could just buy another two cables when they go pop in a year if they go pop. Hopefully they won't. I've had it for over a month at this point and it's working perfectly fine. So sorry Facebook. For these comparisons I have played on Half-Life Alex, Phasmophobia, blah, 
For these comparisons, I have played on Half-Life Alex, Phasmophobia, 